Hello guys, this is a part 2. Part 1, which you should watch, is a previous mummy from Tarim, and this is a different mummy. So the first one was XHM 135, uh, this one is XHM 100, they're both female. Uh, but for this one, I actually figured out the haplogroup. Um, I found it by uploading the, the raw file to a site that gives you your like X, X DNA, which is pretty cool. Now, according to my Nashakot, as well as to YSEC, uh, she had black hair, brown or very dark brown eyes. Um, according to my tool, she actually had a Greek nose shape, kind of an aquiline, long and narrow nose shape. And according to Snipper Free, uh, basically all that, plus Snipper Free also predicted her to have dark skin. According to her genotype in Act 1, she had a decreased odds of psychosis caused by cannabis smoking, which is pretty cool because uh, I think she might have belonged to a culture that liked smoking cannabis because I know that cannabis cultivation does come from Central Asia. She was a warrior according to her genotype in Compt, which I did not expect because that's a very European kind of a genotype. Uh, basically, the implication of this genotype is that she probably had a slower reuptake of dopamine, which means more dopamine in her system. She did not have the European lactose persistence mutation and was likely lactose intolerant. According to her genotype in the MET gene, she had an increased risk of autism. She had a completely average risk score for Crohn's disease, Parkinson's and bipolar disorder. She had a very low risk score for schizophrenia and a very low risk score for Tourette's syndrome. Looking at her GD match results, namely Eurogene's K13 results, uh, I notice a very big similarity to Botai, Kazakhstan hunter-gatherer from the Mesolithic, and in general, Central Asian Mesolithic hunter-gatherers. According to her Eurogene's K13 oracle, she is closest to uh, Malta 1, which is an ancient North Eurasian Malta boy from Siberia, and she can be modeled as a mixture of this Malta boy plus some Native Americans. This is her result with Gedrosia K3. You can see she is a pretty balanced mix between East Eurasian or Mongoloid ancestry and West Eurasian or Caucasoid ancestry, uh, slightly leaning towards the Caucasoid side though, because it's 56%. And this is her result with the Ancient Eurasia K6. So if you needed more proof that she resembles kind of Botai and in general hunter-gatherers from Central Asia, this is your proof because she scores only 2% Natufian. Any Indo-Iranian, any Indo-Aryan person from this time period would score 20 or 25 or 30% Natufian, but she scores 2. And the oracle for this calculator models her as a mixture of Eastern hunter-gatherers and some Kusunda is, I think, uh, East Asian. Cambodian is also East Asian. So basically this plus East Asian. This is her result with the Eurogene's K36. Um, I think this just represents kind of Ironically, this represents the people who got the most genome from ancient North Eurasians, because look at South Central Asians, Amerindians, Fenoscandians, Volga Euro. Uh, these are basically the people who have the most A and E admixture. So it's a funny result in this way. I actually found G25 coordinates for this sample, and they are closest to Native Americans, Udmurts, and uh, West Siberians. And in terms of ancient groups, it's of course most similar to other Tarim mummies, but notice how similar it is to Botai, uh, hunter-gatherer from Kazakhstan, uh, Tumen, hunter-gatherer from Siberia, and Afontava Gara III, which is an ancient North Eurasian. So you see, this person was very close to those kind of Siberian and Central Asian hunter-gatherers. Now, I appreciate you sticking around until this point in the video. You can download this sample in 23andMe format uh, by following the link in the description of the video. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.